I've lost count on how many times I've I've raked this. It's been a lot. Before I get to applying my biostimulants here in the back, I wanted to go over a few tips when it comes to leveling. First tip, rake it like crazy. Like I said in the first video, I'm going to be watering it down, letting it dry, dragging the rake over it, watering it down, letting it dry, dragging the rake over it. I'm gonna be doing that a lot before I actually go to put my seed down onto the ground. Pay attention to it as it's drying. You'll notice that the low spots are gonna dry out much quicker than the high spots. Now it's the next video. Next tip, once you've raked to the point where the turf that you did have is starting to show underneath the dirt, switch from your metal rake to a plastic rake. The reason for that, the metal rake is gonna be a little bit too hard and a little bit too rough on the turf that you have already established underneath your topsoil. So by switching to the plastic rake, it's gonna be a little bit more gentle on your already established turf. Last thing we wanna do is rip out any of the existing turf that we already have. It's established, it's doing well, we wanna leave it be. So that's really it for the tips. Now it's time to put down my Biostem products. Like I've touched on in the past couple of videos with regards to the next project here in the back, I'm following the application instructions that come with the seeding overseeding package. On those application instructions, it says to hit the yard or the area that you're going to be seeding or overseeding with the biostem products two weeks prior to throwing down some seed so that's where i'm at i'm about two weeks out from putting down my seed so i'm going to go at it with the rgs the air rate the humic 12 and the 002 microgreen i'm going to need 39 ounces of rgs humic 12 and 002 microgreen and i'm going to need i think it's about 58.5 ounces of airy. Let me address one of the questions that I get a lot with the Biostem products. You can make combination applications with those. Here's how you would do it. You can do RGS and aerate, you can spray that out, and then you can do Humic 12, spray that out, and then you can do 002 microgreen and spray that out. I'm gonna be using the unicorn sprayer, so I'm gonna bust that out, fill it up, and get to spraying. That's, uh, that's much easier than throwing dirt all over the place. Topsoil has a nice drink of goodies. It is prepped and ready for seed in two weeks time. Actually really nice to work out here for a change. The temperature has dropped drastically. When I say drastically, it's no longer 9,000 degrees and trying to kill me out here. At a high of about 80 today. So nice, nice welcomed break from the heat, hence the reason for the long sleeve neck shirt, which you can get in the next shop. Link in the description box below. Shameless plug, did you like that? See what I did there? See the transition from the hot to the cool weather to the long sleeve shirts? So there you go, there's your tips on leveling a yard from what I've picked up from doing this back here. And there's our application of biostimulants. What other questions do you have for me? Leave those in the comments section below and I will do my best to answer them for you. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video, share it out, subscribe to the channel, clicking on the bell to get the notifications for every time I upload a new video. Keep on keeping on my lawn care brothers and sisters from other misters and I will catch you next time for the next step in the next project.